Hey, I'm Dan Ryan with Hold Beat. On. Oh, I thought that was action. <laughs> you heard Hollywood on me. I thought that was action. All right. Hey, I'm Dan Ryan with Beachwood Custom. I'm sitting here with Marquise Stilwell with Openbox. Marquise, in a couple of words, tell us what Openbox is all about. Um, Openbox is a design studio here in New York City. Um, we focus on design thinking as a framework for helping companies solve problems, um, outcomes look like products, um, new service design. We also have a film company, and so those films uh, range from documentaries around design, documentaries on music, uh, and then we also have a venture arm as well. And so we invest in companies that we really care about, things that we value, and so that makes up the open box ecosystem. Great. And uh, like, what's top of mind with you here at ILC? I, I love ILC. I love the, you know, the diversity of people and topics and how, you know, open the conversations can be. Uh, I've always enjoyed the curation of the programming as well and look forward to, to pushing that even further. Mm -hmm. Great, and then what do you think you get the most out of from being here at ILC? For me, it's getting a lot of the insights on what's going on in the industry. Uh, I'm not a hoteler, I'm not a restauranter. I come from the design side and loving sitting down and, and talking to People that are on the front lines of the work and also understanding what independence means. And I think that's what makes this conference really special is that we're losing a lot of independence when it comes to independent owners having hotels and restaurants. And what does that mean in the hospitality space? And so I'm really excited to walk around with other entrepreneurs and hear their war stories and challenges that they're facing every day. Great, and I, I know that we've spoken before about some hotels can come into a part of town or a neighborhood that, you know, they, they land there and it's like an alien yeah. structure that is its own operating ecosystem. But here, what I love is I also hear about hotels that pop down into a community and really embrace it and become a part of it. So tell me, tell me what your feelings are on that kind of contradiction that exists within the hospitality industry. Yeah, no, I think there's a, a real responsibility for us to not just think about the built environment, um, the codes and the restrictions of height and, and where placement, but think about the people and the type of work that we do, it's all about people-centered, human-centered. And I love hearing the stories around hotels and how they're trying to integrate themselves into the neighborhoods, how they're trying to integrate themselves in regards to hiring practices, making sure that they're representing the neighborhood, representing the people of the neighborhood, and the culture of that neighborhood. And that's something that I don't know if the larger corporate um, hospitality groups uh, think about, as well as the smaller independent hotels. So they're thinking about it, but maybe not as well. So, but if you were to like, tell me more about that not as well that you've experienced here. Yeah, so I, I've heard a lot of stories where, you know, a, a hotel or restaurant drops into a neighborhood and they start to have certain challenges. I believe that a lot of individuals now are pushing back as their neighborhoods are changing so quickly and they're not being able to afford, you know, the basic necessities of life, basics of rent, food, and that they're being engulfed by these large uh, development projects that include restaurants and hotels. And so, you know, there's a lot of conversations around how do we actually uh, represent the culture? And so I've heard from you know, those who have started restaurants and hotels in Washington, D.C., to L.A., to New York, and around the world about how they're really trying to slow down and create that buffer. I think it's a real challenge. Even here in Brooklyn, uh, I think it's a real challenge to keep it authentic. And what does that mean for the design process? What does it mean from landscaping? Uh, you know, one great conversation I had on yesterday was around the landscaping and what's the buffer between the sidewalk and the entryway. How do I feel when I walk into a lobby? Am I welcomed or am I looked at as whether I'm a guest or not? And so those are the particulars around design and I believe that design has a, a role to play in really helping to create those more human elements in regards to how do we move from my, my taxi cab into a hotel whether I'm there as a guest or I'm there I'm visiting a restaurant. What does that feel like? What does it feel like if I'm just walking my dog in the neighborhood and, I'm, and there's a hotel there? Does that hotel represent who I am? 
or is that just a place where tourists come and there's no relationship between me and them? Marquise, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. Um, you know, I was very happy to bring you here and have you be a part no, of this. this and uh, it's just great to have such an incredible sharing of ideas and, and dialogue. Yeah, thanks, Dan. It's been great talking to you. Thank you.